Okay. Let's uh let's go again. No. Let's play. Unless he wants to go uh, immediately. Uh, okay, you and sharks. So I'll play it with um maybe Bishop B3, I'm gonna wait for just Bishop B3. Because I've seen the Nanan game recently, uh, which is on live stream. I was commenting with uh, some others where well, you didn't play a3 and bishop a2. I think bishop's protecting c2, that's the subtle difference. It's sort of potentially more useful then on, um, on b3. Unless c4 is like a sack, so maybe I could take here. It's actually. Bishops on b3, c4 might not be as painful. Okay, I'll stop bishop moving from b3. Ah. Okay. I don't know if that was wise. Is he going to take? I feel split up here. My pawns are getting split up. Has he got some spectator pieces? I play c3 to deprive d4 square. Let's check winning the bishop. It's getting tactical. Um, so knight d4 might be quite painful. I suppose bishop e3. No, he takes is winning a pawn. That's bishop c4. Try and get the pawn back later. And queen f2, a bit risky. It's really going for the front here, it seems. But these pieces are still, oh well, this bishop. This bishop's blocked in. Okay, I don't mind the double pawns as much. It's like a lesser evil of stuff. Um, where is it? I can just sack b3 and play knight e4. Maybe it's a d6 or bishop c5. Um, knight d6, rook d1. Knight c5 here. Okay, so I'll play rook d1 now. So how does he defend d3? There's no mate threat right now. Maybe b3 of queen c4, b3. There's rook a3. Try and trap the queen. Is it worth it? b3. Exchange off queens. b3. Rook a3. Does that offer anything? Queen c4. Queen, rook c3. Back to d5. Rook d3. Let's check, just check this. Is rook a3. Where is he going? Probably back to c4. Right, let's go to this position again. I'll play b3 this time. Get the queens off. So I might have an advantage here with the d file. Alright, d file contesting d8. Can I build on that small positional advantage? Or is it illusory? If I take on d5. Might be illusionary. I'm taking on d5, knight d7 to b6 though. Might play knight d7 to b6. Trying to get that bishop out of the way of the d4. Except I lose b3 now. Oh, and then a4. Nope. Okay, he hasn't gone for that. Um, that's not pleasant. Rook d2, and I can try and win a5. It's all getting a bit crazy. Losing a pawn for nothing. Still bishop d2 here. This bishop can come to threaten bishop c5 though. Oh dear. <laughs> um, and then take on a4. So I only that pawn down. Opposite colored bishops. Um, oh, that was a good scenario. Uh, this is a bad scenario. Okay, bad scenario. Not pleasant. <laughs> I've got a blockade on his extra pawn at the moment. 
He's lifting it. Okay. He's lifting it. Take that pawn. Maybe knight c4. Could be useful. G4 to stop. I don't know why he's done that pawn sack. I think h5. What's the point of that? Knight c4. I suppose you can always attack the knight. Bishop f4 or h5, maybe h5 first, get the king back on square. So bishop f4 now, it's bishop d4, knight c4, it's bishop b3, but I don't know, knight d6 takes knight, e knight takes b7. I don't want this big a pawn to deal with, so maybe bishop, bishop f4 for a moment, bishop f4. It's going to kick the knight to win a4. Can I play a check? I don't know if it's useful. Can I just try and win this um, a5 pawn? B pawn's closer to the king to try and stop the b pawn. Oh, that's bishop e3 here. Try and win b6. And I'm protecting e5. I might still be in with a chance here. It's pressure, huge pressure. It's ending. Outside the past pawn is dangerous. But can I blockade now with knight c4? I'm actually threatening. No, I'm not. Um, can I offer a draw here? <laughs> he's not going to accept it. <laughs> he, he did offer me a draw earlier. No, he's not accepting it. <laughs> that was being cheeky, huh? Okay. <laughs> um. I'm waiting for a bad position here. What about g6? I don't know. h6. Can pull one more. g6. King g5. She's ruled out. He's trapped my poor knight. Okay, what's the plan? Is it as clear cut if the bishop's on g6? Can my king come to the rescue on the queen side? Pawns are on dark squares. It's king, it's king that can't come in just yet. Okay, it's going to win g4 though. Okay, I can I can get this position with pawns on dark squares. I'm trying to hold on this position. Okay, the king's guarding d5 for the moment. I've got to hold on to d5. Now I'm in trouble on this waiting move. Uh oh, big trouble. Knight d3. What about knight d2 to f6? e4 f6. No, he's ruled that out immediately. Immediately. <laughs> knight d4 anywhere? Um, nope. Actually, knight d4 here. Now he's king, king's coming to d5 now. That's over. Unless I can get knight g6 in. If I can get knight g6 in, there might be a glimmer of hope here for knight g6. Okay. Again, in trouble. Let's go in h7. I can come back to try and. Actually, his bishop is not of the right colour here. That means I just need to get rid of that pawn. And then it should be a draw. If I can just get rid of that pawn, but I will I be able to do it with 20 seconds? Yes. Draw. Draw. Fifteen seconds. He's going to try and win on time. Pure win on time. Go. 
Can I get to the 50 move rule? Every pawn move is another 50 moves. It's a bit unethical, <laughs> I think, just to try and win purely on time like this. When I get down to, I think I should spend a microsecond. Yep, draw. I managed to make 50 moves there. <laughs> so he starts off with a draw. So as if I'm going to regret not accepting the draw. I have a draw later. And then when it's a total clear theoretical draw, bishops of the wrong colour, he's completely refusing and then invoking uh, with another pawn move. I have to play another 50 moves. And then I actually have to time it that the time to actually... Um, go and press off a draw or whatever, it's going to cost me like two seconds. So I'm hoping I've played 50 moves to be able to then just in time press the draw to get the draw detection. So that was very interesting to try and fight for the draw there. Comments or questions on YouTube, but uh, I don't know, quick. He really went, he dismantled my uh, my pawn structure. <laughs> I don't like that. That's really unfair. My queenside pawns, this outside past pawn torture business is, is fairly unpleasant. King coming into the game with a pawn sack was interesting. And then we have this interesting scenario where my knight got a bit good actually, trying to win that g6 pawn. And then h7, and then heroically win the e, e pawn. The knight's a bit of a hero in this game. Uh, yeah, one of my longest ever five minute games. <laughs> okay, um, comments or questions on YouTube? Thanks very much.